acquiring prosthetic limbs after amputation can be very expensive, especially for the disabled poor. The cost could run into thousands of cities since they are mostly imported. There is some respite from Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, where scientists use local materials to make prosthetics. Love FM's Kwesi Debra reports. Isaac Safiano, now jobless, was a professional driver. In 2003, an accident left him with a damaged left leg, which necessitated amputation. An option to get back to normal life was an artificial limb. We've heard of an uh, 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 orthopedic training centre that is at Ensawom. Uh, uh, so we approached them for the artificial leg by then in 2005. And then the, the cost was too high. Amputation refers to the removal of a body part. Causes can range from trauma, infection to non-communicable diseases like diabetes. Dr. Vincent Atevo is head of orthopedic and trauma unit at the Konfanochi Teaching Hospital. In um, developed countries, for instance, amputation accounts for about between 1 to 5 percent of all trauma cases. And I think the case is not that different from low and middle income countries. It could even be higher. Amputation, however, has many socioeconomic implications. Affected persons become a burden on the family and society. Patients, therefore, would have to be rehabilitated and retrained for other jobs commensurate with their condition. They become a permanent client for the orthopedic surgeon, clinical psychologist, and finally, orthotics. This prosthesis comes in different forms and different uh, uh, varieties. Okay. Um, the price of this prosthesis ranges from 5000 to about $50,000. However, there are um, processes that are manufactured um, that are useful for low and middle income countries with prices uh, probably lower than the $5,000. But these processes are manufactured in such a way that their lifespan is between two, uh, four to five years. Faisal Wahib Adam of the Mechanical yeah. Engineering Department so of KNUST and his team have been working on lower limb prosthetics. They have been at it for four years using local materials. So the aim of this work is to use local materials to reduce the cost of prosthesis, lower limb prosthesis, uh, reduce the number of uh, amputees begging on our streets, and then to create jobs. It started with the shank. We use bamboo. Filled by the socket. We use uh, the, our bags that we call uh, Ghana must go. And then try some material waste uh, with some chemicals to obtain the socket. And finally, the foot. So we use sawdust and other local materials. Initial trials on a patient have proved successful. So far, the prosthesis has been tested uh, on a patient at the Nsamom Orthopedic Center, and the result has been good. The team is carrying out further tests to improve on the innovation. Reporting for Joy News, Kwesi Debra.